Now, one thing I've said, I can't remember if I said it on this channel or on the Cecil Ryu Hip Hop channel, is that if it were a building, I have definitely taken some courses in Hot at Hotep University. I don't necessarily agree with everything that the Hotep type people say. If you don't know what that is, look it up. But, you know, I don't agree with everything that anyone says. But this is some type of stuff right here that I think uh, really carries over to the martial arts. This is going to be a little bit more esoteric takes. OK, so I should be able to use a little bit of this by fair use. I'm not going to go real deep into it because I don't want to just plagiarize. But this is from this channel called Earn Your Leisure. And the video is Secrets of the Ankh, Hermetic Revelations, Crystallized Evil, Story of the Gods in Egyptian Worship. So since that's not. That's not the religious practices that I follow, so you can see where I would have some disagreements. But this is why it's good to keep an open mind, because this is a good explanation of when people are talking about chi, internal energy, that type of thing, which is really just the electricity of your own body that you got when God put you here. How you can use it. He's talking about using it from a um, esoteric stamp, esoteric standpoint. But this is what a lot of people are trying to get you to put behind your punch and cultivate. Look at the energy that you get from Ki, Chi, Ra, Ka. Look at that energy as an accent. In my opinion, it is the icing on the cake. It is not the cake. If you just try to eat all icing, you get no cake. And you, and you can eat a cake with no icing. But if you just have icing with no cake, you really don't have something of substance, in my opinion. So let me get to it and play this part for you. Oh, no, 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 no. Got to back up. Got to back up here to write about here. The immaterial manifestation is something I like to think about a lot, right? Because we talk about ka, right? And ka or ki or chi, right? And, and every, or we talk about it now as energy or vibes, right? So this generation is a generation that goes off energy and vibes a lot. But right. they're talking about Kai and Ki, right? This is what they're expressing, but the language has changed. Yes. But it always comes back because the power of us as human beings, right? It's the being part, but us being, you know, gathered from the universe and made from these cosmic ingredients, we have some powers, all right? And one of those powers is our vibratory senses. Yes. I talked about it with Kamani about, you know, our ability to have multiple senses way beyond five senses, right? And so intuition is a sense, but when you walk into a room and the energy is not correct because human beings emit light, right? That's a sense that because you can't see with your eye, you may not think it's there, right? And so for me, it's about, you know, and, and this is like me kind of like figuring out like what is the best thing for this generation as far as their guidance, Right. And I, I don't think everybody has an ability to understand the hidden hand. Right. Mm. Reality, there's a lot of hidden hands. Psychologically, a lot of people think they're free today. Right. Mm. But they're not. True. Right. Not only do they have the whispering in their own mind of that devil they have to conquer, but then it's the devil that knows how to conquer the mind. Right. Psychologists, psycholo uh, uh, psychologists like um, Barney. You know, back in the day, they figured out how to get women to smoke cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. Because at first it was just a man thing. And so what they knew was they had to play on the psychology of women of the want to be rebellious or the want to be free, True. right? And so he staged protests when women were pulling out cigarettes. And this got the masses to start desire products that they didn't need, right? Yes, and so indeed. a lot of people today walking around believing that the things that they're doing is... Oh, because we will have more freedom or we have this, that, and third. No, it's because you're being manipulated and controlled because you don't really understand the hidden hand and the unseen forces. True. Right? And so when they manifest within you, you think that that's you and your desires. No, that's the ones that's been supplanted into you. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's. Now, let me take that right into a martial arts standpoint more physical, more fisty cuffy. Just consider the possibility that you may be getting into a fight or a conflict with someone because they're manipulating you. 
not because you want to really be in that argument or that fight with that person, but because they're trying to push your buttons to get you to fight because they just want an excuse to attack you. Also, this just came to me listening to this again. Also, where I originally wanted to go with this was the first part, where he talks about you walk into a room, you feel that something's off. You may not think that there's anything off because you don't see the danger with your physical eyes. Really what it is is you saw the danger with your physical eyes, but your brain didn't process it because you've been conditioned to think that danger looks this way. But your subconscious mind knows something's off, even if you can't visually or see it or process it. So it could be such a thing as you normally see somebody standing. If you can look, zoom in on me on this little box in the corner. But then I'm going to reach down like I'm grabbing something. See? And look at how my body, my body angles when I reach back to grab something. And it's a weapon. And you've never seen that person do that before. And they're looking at you and they got some anger and tan in their eyes. But because you never dealt with that before, you don't have a frame of reference of that consciously. But subconsciously, it's ticking on those survival instincts. All that is part of energy. And that's part of key and that's part of chi. So like I said, in addition to yelling ki to accent your movements and give you more power there, you can also just pay attention to the energy and the mood and things that you see around you. And that can actually help protect you from being hurt. So you don't even have to go there. If you walk in this, on bottom line, if you walk in some place and you don't have to be there and it feels off, leave. Just leave. Who cares if somebody thinks you're a coward? You'll be alive. Now, this next video, I would still consider this to be a course at Hotep University because he talks about this is Billy Carson being interviewed by Danica Patrick on Danica Patrick's channel. Her video is Billy Carson, the Ark. Mars, Jesus, reality, ETs, Egypt. So, again, like I say, because Billy Carson um, has a lot of critiques on Christianity, so I know I still follow Christianity. So, of course, I'll have some deviations of thought there. But then again, that doesn't mean I got to go, I can't, can't just, no. Because if you do follow the Bible, he did say for you to, you know, study to show yourself approved. And to be as wise as serpents and gentle as doves. So I interpret that to mean that you can look at, you can examine other points of view and either things that might be critical of your point of view. But, you know, if we would just act right and actually follow what Jesus was trying to tell people to do, I think we'd all be alive at all. But I had told a student the other day, that the point of martial arts is really not just about kia, 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 beating people up. Really, when parents are putting children in those classes, it's about perfection of character. And, and when adults continue to study martial arts as an adult, why this grown man doing this stuff? Why is this grown up lady kicking in pajamas in public, etc.? It's not necessarily just about self-defense. A lot of people do it for exercise and fun and because they feel like it, it helps their character. So if there was one martial arts lesson I could convey to anybody and that I need to be reminded of myself, like all the time, it would be what is coming from Hotep University in terms of, uh, I guess you could say, in terms of Professor Billy Carson right now. Oh, and Professor Danica Patrick. If, they're, if you would consider them two teachers from Hotep University in this instance. Wow. All right. If there was like one one tangible takeaway that everyone could to grab onto and keep in mind, what would that be to help our ascension and to help our evolution? I think the biggest thing I could tell people is to look into their own selves, self-help, self-work, shadow work, you know, biohacking, meditation, you know, eating clean, exercise, uh, and then also operating in service to others unconditional love for others when somebody gets you angry or frustrated that's a mental test can you withdraw those emotions can you feel them but and work through them and then say you know what that person did something to me but i blessed this person because we have the power to bless people somebody cuts you off in traffic don't get angry and flip them off run up 
in your mind and say, wait a minute, stop. I bless this person. I hope they make it to their destination safely. These are the type of mental, spiritual tests we need to be putting ourselves through on a daily basis to get, get ourselves to ascend to the higher level. It's like lifting weights. You become stronger and stronger, and then you become incredible. You become an incredible being of light that way. Well, thank you. I have a lot of work to do on the road, not getting mad at people. <laughs> it's a very common source of frustration for me. Yeah. We all do, Danica Patrick. Well, at least I, I do at times. So that's actually the real point of martial arts, really. That's that's actually the true point these days. That, that That's it right there. If you can do that, if you can do that with somebody who's trying to punch you, kick you, throw you, pin you. Trying to come at you with a stick. Especially as a civilian. If you can do that, you have gotten what we are really trying to teach you. Or at least what I'm really trying to teach you. Now we'll get it twisted. Yes, there's self-defense aspects in there. But what if you can get to the point where you don't you can find a way to not engage in in the physical at all. Wouldn't that be something? And again, that's what people are really talking about. That's actually the real goal, in my opinion, of martial arts. And it came from, it was presented in two instances, one talking about energy and one talking about our character from Hotep University. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share it with people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and peace. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Peace.